represent uh, what is moving. Moving is a, a Horizon 2020 project, uh, stand for mountain valorization through interconnectedness and green growth. Um, uh, this project uh, will last for four years. Uh, we are uh, initiating our third year of project. And uh, there are 23 partners working in this project coordinated by myself at the University of Cordoba. Our main objective is to build capacities and co-develop relevant policy frameworks across Europe for the establishment of value chains that contribute to both the resilience and sustainability of mountain areas. Initially, we introduced to climate change, but I have to say that we are working with other uh, threats that uh, uh, mountain areas are facing right now, like could be the population or other, other that I will mention uh, later on. Okay, so in, to work in moving, uh, we have uh, 23 uh, mountain reference regions that are distributed along 16 European and neighboring countries. Um, in each area we try to, you can see in the map where are our 23 case studies, and we're trying to understand this, how the linkages between the region and specific land use system and expected changes that are driven by new large scale environmental conditions that we're experiencing right now, but also the transferability of place-based research to understand processes of change in similar areas. Our approach, as you can see, is quite complex uh, because first we aim to develop a conceptual base and to develop uh, analytical tools. And we will, uh, or we are analyzing the value chains diversity uh, through an inventory of value chains from all over Europe, a value chain analysis through an in-depth analysis of 23 case studies, the value chains potential through cross case comparison and the future perspective through a participatory multi-level foresight analysis that we will do next. Uh, all these uh, aim to uh, be used to develop a policy audit and a proposal for new and updated uh, policies in the next, uh, for the next uh, generation of policies for rural areas. And finally, we want to do a policy analysis and a roadmap that uh, should gather all the policies that mountain areas need. Uh, all, with all these um, elements, uh, we are doing participatory vulnerability analysis of land systems. And also we are doing a participatory way through our uh, moving community of practices. So uh, we have done several, we have uh, either finished or are in the process of doing most of this uh, uh, analysis, as you can see here. And I will present some of our results next. We aim to deliver uh, an inventory of value chains. We aim to do uh, 400, now we have 453. We will do uh, a vulnerability analysis of both the land use and the value chains in 23 case studies. As mentioned, we are developing a conceptual and analytical framework. The first uh, stage are already uh, done, and we will be refining through the, 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 the time of the project. And we are also uh, almost ready to launch an app for uh, mountain areas. We will do 28 foresight exercise, susceptibility and vulnerability maps, we are, we are creating a quite uh, strong community of practice and we will deliver policy recommendation and the roadmap. Okay, what have we done? Uh, we have uh, created a science society policy interface. This EU map is part of this, uh, of this stakeholder engagement process. And each of, in each of the regions, we have already created a multi-actor platform and you're part of the EU-level multi-actor platform. We try to develop easy accessible knowledge through our virtual research environment, delivering virtual tools. And as I said, we will launch probably by the end of the year, our app. 
And we have to say that we did all this in, or we initiated this and there are coronavirus a scenario that made our life a bit more complicated than we expected, but we are quite happy with the results. Okay, that's how it looks like our community of practice, as I mentioned, with regional maps and one EU map. Our main objectives are co-create and validate the key research outputs and results delivered by moving, oh, sorry, uh, exchange of knowledge and experience, and we aim to build a long-lasting community uh, worried about the future of mountain areas. Uh, we work in a multi-actor and multi-scale level of analysis. Uh, as you can see in this picture, I will not uh, devote more time to this. We are also developing this conceptual analytical framework that, as you can see, is, uh, is conformed by a number of concepts or theoretical backgrounds and so on that are quite uh, complicated or quite complex, all of them, but we are trying to create the links and interaction between all of them, like uh, integrating the uh, social ecological system framework with the value chain analysis frameworks and to understand how all these different concepts can fit in, in order to be useful for our uh, theoretical and practical analysis. So you can see that we have done a big effort in connecting uh, different concepts. Okay, our third objective was to analyze the vulnerability of land use and production systems. Then we here we work with two analytical scales, what we call mountain reference regions and also large mountain ranges in order to do in-depth analysis of some areas that then could be uh, upscale to other uh, mountain chains. And for this, we have created also a vulnerability conceptual framework that here looks like a complex and indeed it is, but has been very interesting to analyze how the natural resources that support the value chains in our mountain areas uh, are affected by different threats and are vulnerable to different drivers. So using this uh, framework for each of our mountain regions, we have uh, uh, done a participatory analysis and participatory vulnerability matrices where in each region we identify which were the drivers of change, the main uh, threats of these areas and then uh, we rank them, we analyze the trend in the last 20 years, and then we did sensitivity and feasibility analysis. And then we came with, uh, uh, also we tried to find which could be adaptation mechanism. And at the end, we have a matrix, a vulnerability matrix for each of our 23 regions. You can see here just one example. And some of the main results of this analysis is that uh, we measured the impact to these uh, drivers and we found that six regions have a high impact level, uh, more than 0 0.5 out of a scale of 0 to 1. And they cover a wide geographical area from East to Mediterranean countries. Also, some other Mediterranean regions are more resistant to the drivers of change, like the Vetic or Crete regions, uh, and the regions covering Alpine and Central European range showed moderate to low impact. In the value chain analysis that we are finishing right now, we should be finishing a couple of months, we work at uh, three level, what we call a Russian doll approach. First we, first, we analyze one value chain in, in each area. Then we analyze the interaction of each value chain with its uh, social and ecological uh, system, both at local level and also the telecoupling uh, uh, interactions. And then we try to uh, upscale these results to understand what do we know about the wider mountain uh, regions that we are uh, working with. Okay, so that is what we have done till now. So those are some of our uh, main results. In a couple of months, we could have uh, much more. And now I will go to what are we going to do in the next uh, month? 
We are working in youth engagement workshops uh, in order to understand how young people see the future in mountain areas and what do they need to uh, stay there. We are about to finish our mountain app uh, that aim to foster engagement of people, both inhabitants and visitors to the resilience of the mountain regions through identification and sharing of information. We are refining our conceptual and analytical framework through participatory theory building, introducing new concepts and integrating all of them. We are developing visual tools that should be uh, available for, for everyone. We will develop the value chain vulnerability analysis, and we will also create participatory digital story that will describe the value chains that we, have, we are working with. We will do a benchmarking and comparative assessment of value chains and foresight analysis with an scenario 2050. And finally, all this information will be used to develop a policy analysis and a policy roadmap that we hope will be of interest for uh, the European Commission, the national and the regional governments. Okay, and that's all from my side uh, that uh, you can have here all the uh, methods that you have to get informed about the advances and the news that are linked to our project. Thank you for your attention.